everyone, it's Cleofe again and welcome to Crafting Shed. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet my uniquely designed poncho. This is designed to function like a sweater, but stylish enough for a fashionable poncho. This poncho is designed like a triangle so that there is room under the arms to allow more movement without the extra drape on the sides. The crochet pattern is very easy to follow and the design is simple yet classy. It has these subtle bumps that creates these smooth symmetrical waves that is very pleasant to the eyes. And this is what the back looks like. So make this in your favorite color and hopefully this will become one of your winter favorites. And now, let's get started! For the materials, I use 5 skeins of the soft and shiny yarn by Loops and Threads or any other size 4 medium weight yarn. 5 skeins is about 1,500 yards and this is in rosy mauve color. I also use size H 5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, blunt needle markers, and tape measure. Let's start with a knot and chain 82. This is now 82 chains. Let's start it off with foundation row, single crochet in second chain from hook, one, two, single crochet in this chain, single crochet in the next chain, and in each chain across. Single crochet in each chain. So repeat this pattern across, I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with my foundation row. And this is now what my foundation roll looks like. Roll one, chain three, one, two, three, turn, skip the first stitch, double crochet in the next two stitches, starting here, one and two. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and starting on the next stitch, double crochet in the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. This is what it looks like. Repeat the pattern, chain three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next five stitches. Starting here, one, two, and three, three, four, and five. Chain three again. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next five stitches starting here. One, two, three, four, and five. Repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to continue with the pattern. Next is chain three. Skip three stitches. One, two, three, and double crochet in the last three stitches. Starting here, one, two, and three. So this is how to end row one, and this is what row one looks like. Row two. Chain three, one, two, three, turn, skip the first stitch and double crochet in the next two stitches, starting here, one, two, 
and then in the center stitch two rows below so here on this stitch here on the center stitch right here two rows below we're going to th uh, do three double crochets and we're going to stitch over the chain three space so double crochet on this stitch we're going to stitch over on this stitch here and then stitch over the chain three space so one, the first double crochet, second double crochet, and the third double crochet. And this is what it looks like. Then double crochet in the next five stitches starting here. One, two, three, four, and five. Then repeat the pattern. This is what it looks like on this chain three space again. On the center stitch, two rows below, right here, we're going to do three double crochets and we're going to stitch over the chain three space. So on this stitch, double crochet on this stitch, stitch over the chain three space. So this is our first double crochet, two in the same stitch, and three double crochets in the same stitch. This is what it looks like. Repeat. I mean, double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And then repeat. Three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below. One, two, and three and double crochet in the next five stitches. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row to continue double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four and five then repeat three double crochets in the center stitch two rows below stitching over the chain three space one two and three and to end this row double crochet in the last three stitches so one two and then the last stitch would be on top of the beginning chain three right here. So this is how to end row two and this is what row two looks like. Row three, chain three, one, two, three, turn, skip the first stitch, double crochet in the next two six stitches starting here, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next five stitches starting here. One, two, three, four, and five. Repeat the pattern, chain three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next five stitches, starting here, one, two, three, four, and five. This is what it looks like. Repeat, chain three, Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next five stitches. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting out the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just gonna do the last repeat, chain three. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and then to end this row, just double crochet in the last seven stitches starting here. So one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and then this last stitch will be on top of the beginning chain three, right here. So this is how to end row 3 and this is what row 3 looks like. Row 4. From here we're going to chain 3. 1, 2, 3, turn. Skip the first stitch. So skip this one. Double crochet in the next 6 stitches starting here. One. Two, three, four, five, and six. Then three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below, right here. So on this center stitch, three double crochets, stitching over the chain three space. So right here. Double crochet, one, two, and three, all in the same stitch. This is what it looks like. Then double crochet in the next five stitches, starting here, one, two, three, four, and five. Then repeat, three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below, stitching over the chain three space. So two and three, all in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. And this is what it looks like. Again, three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below, stitching over the three, chain three space. One, two, three. And double crochet in the next five stitches. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. I'm just going to do the last space here. So three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below, two and three. And to end this row, double crochet in the last seven stitches, starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the seventh will be on top of the turning chain, beginning chain three. So right here. So this is how to end row four, and this is what row four looks like. Row five, chain three, one, two, three, turn. Skip the first stitch and double crochet in the next two stitches. One and two. Chain three. One, two, three. Skip three stitches. One, two, three. And double crochet in the next five stitches starting here. One, two, three, four, and five. Repeat the pattern, chain three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next three stitches. I mean five stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. This is what it looks like. Repeat, chain three, 
skip three stitches and double crochet in the next five stitches starting here. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row just to do the last repeat, chain three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and to end this row, double crochet in the last three stitches. So one, two, and the last stitch would be on top of the beginning chain three, right here. So uh, this is how to end row five, and this is what row five looks like. Row six, chain three, turn, skip the first stitch, this one, and double crochet in the next two stitches, one, two, then on the center stitch, two rows below, right here on the center stitch, three double crochets, stitching over the chain three space, so one, two, and three, all in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Repeat the pattern. Three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below, stitching over the chain three space. One, two, and three all in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So just doing this last chain three space. Double, three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below, one, two, and three all in the same stitch. And to end this row, double crochet in the last three stitches, starting here. So one, two, and then the last stitch would be on top of the beginning chain three, right here. So this is how to end row six, and this is what row six looks like. Rows seven to 22, just repeat rows six, three to six consecutively. So I'm gonna continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row 22 to show you the next step. This is now what my piece looks like after row 22. So the next step would be to increase the next rows to get the triangle shape. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Row 23, we will start increasing in this row. So for row 23, chain four, three, four, turn, four double crochets in the first stitch, right here, so one, two, three, and four. And this is what it looks like. Then double crochet in the next six stitches, starting here in the next stitch, one, two, three, four, five, and six. This is what it looks like. Chain three, one, two, three, skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next five stitches starting here. One, two, three, four, and five. 
Repeat the pattern, chain 3. Skip 3 stitches, 1, 2, 3, and double crochet in the next 5 stitches starting here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is what it looks like. Repeat, chain 3. Skip 3 stitches, 1, 2, 3, and double crochet in the next 5 stitches starting here. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. And I'm here now towards the end of the row. I just did the five double crochets to continue. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip three stitches, one, two, three, and double crochet in the next six stitches starting here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then to end this row on the on top of the uh, beginning chain three right here, we're going to do four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and then treble crochet on the same stitch. So the last stitch would be treble crochet. So this is how to end row 23 and this is what row 23 looks like. So the beginning and end of the stitches have increased. Row 24, chain 3, turn, skip first stitch, skip this one and double crochet in the next 10 stitches starting here. 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And you should be in the chain three space right here. Then on the center stitch, two rows below, three double crochets, stitching over the chain three space. Then double crochet in the next five stitches, starting here. One, two, three, four, and five. Then repeat the pattern, three double crochets in the center stitch, Two rows below, stitching over the three chain three space. So this is two and three. Then double crochet in the next five stitches, starting here. So repeat this pattern across. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the row. I'm here now towards the end of the row. So to continue, three double crochets in the center stitch, two rows below. This is two, three, and then double crochet in the last 10 stitches. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then to end this row, one more double crochet on top of the beginning chain four right here. So this is how to end row 24, and this is what row 24 looks like. So you can see the increase now on the rows on these rows. 
rows 25 to 44, just repeat rows 23 and 24 consecutively. So for this group of rows, there is an increase in every other row, and the piece will shape into triangle. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video, and I'll be back when I'm done with row 44 to show you the next step. And this is now what my piece looks like after row 44. So as you can see, the rows are increasing, forming into a like a triangle right here and on the other side. So if you want to increase the width of the piece, you can continue adding more rows. After row 44, I'm going back to the old first pattern. Rows 45 to 60, repeat rows 3 to 6 consecutively or back to the first pattern just like the beginning of the piece. So this group of rows will have no increases. So I'm going to continue my work. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm done with row 60. And this is now what my piece looks like after row 60. So here at the bottom where the side edges are straight, this is the repeat of rows 3 to 6. And here in the mid section, we increase the rows to widen the piece. So this is a repeat of rows 23 and 26. And at the top section, go back to the first pattern where the edges, the side edges are straight. So this is done and this will be our first panel. We need um, another panel of exactly the same pattern. We need two panels for this project. Here are now my two panels of exactly the same pattern. Lay them next to each other with right side facing up. Then place one panel on top of the other like this where the right sides are facing each other and the wrong side are facing out. Then take our tape measure and markers. Then here on the top, measure from the side about 16 inches. Put a marker on the 16 inch mark. And do the same step on the other side. So from the edge, Measure about 16 inches and put a marker on the 16 inch mark again, right here. And here at the center, this is about 11 inches. This will be our neck opening right here. And then from the marker, from here to the right side to the edge, we're going to stitch them together using a uh, single crochet and the same step on the other side. Now here on the side measure about 5 inches right here and put a marker here on the 5 inch mark and then here in this side too measure about 5 inches and put a marker right here on this 5 inch mark right here and from this marker, sew these sides together from this marker all the way to this other marker here. So these sides will be sewn together. And this will be our armhole opening, or armhole. And then do the same step on the other side, measure about 5 inches. And then also on this side here, 5 inches, put a marker. And then from this marker, sew them together up to this mark, other marker here. And this is now what the piece looks like when the sides are sewn together. See, uh, here at the top, I use single crochet to sew them together. So right here, this is single crochet. This is the neck opening right here. And then the other side, also single crochet to sew them together. I hope you can see clearly. And then here on the other side, on this armhole, this is the armhole. 
and then here I use whip stitch to sew them together right here and this will be left open this side here and the other side armhole and then whip stitch to sew them together right here and this will be left open also what I'm going to do next is crochet around the neck opening to give it a clean finish and then crochet cuffs on the armhole. This is now the neck opening and I'm about to crochet around it but first flip the piece with right side facing out. So the piece now is right side facing out. I'm going to um, continue from the last stitch here from or where I left off. So from this last stitch here, I'm going to chain two, double crochet in the next stitch right here and just basically double crochet in each stitch around like this. So continue the pattern, just double crochet in each stitch around. I'm gonna cut off the video and I'll be back when I'm about to end the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. Just continue with the pattern double crochet in the next stitch right here another double crochet in the next stitch and one last double crochet in this stitch here and then to join the round just slip stitch on the first double crochet that we did for this round right here so slip stitch and this is how to join the round and this is what round one looks like Round two for the neck, chain two. Then we're going to do front post double crochet on the next post. So to do front post double crochet, yarn over, insert on the post through the front like this, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops to do the double crochet. Then on the next post, we're going to do back post double crochet so yarn over insert through the post through the back yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops then repeat the pattern front post double crochet and then back post double crochet in the next post so just repeat this pattern alternate front post double crochet and back post double crochet. Repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. And I'm here now towards the end of the round. Just continue with the pattern. So this is front post. I'm gonna do back post next. And then front post double crochet. Then one last back post double crochet. Now to join this round just so to join this round, just slip stitch on the first double crochet right here. So this is how to end round two for the neck border. And this is what round two looks like. Round three, just do a repeat of round two. So just chain two and then front post double crochet and back post double crochet. And then when you're about to end the round, here I'm about to end the round. So the same thing, just continue with the back post and front post. Then to join the round, slip stitch in the first stitch that we did right here. Just slip stitch and then fasten off. And we're done with the neck opening. And this is what it looks like. So if you want to make it simple, you can just do a straightforward double crochet uh, through three rows of uh, double crochets for the neck opening. 
Next is crochet cuff um, in the armhole. So get a fresh yarn, yarn over, chain two, and evenly crochet 35 double crochets around the armhole. So just kind of eyeball your stitches. But for my, for this piece, I crocheted 35 double crochets around. So repeat this pattern, double crochet around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round. I'm here now towards the end of the round. I'm just going to continue with the pattern, double crochet in the next stitch. until I close the round and then to join this round just slip stitch on the first double crochet that we did here. So slip stitch to join the round. So that is how to join the round and this is what round one looks like. Round two for the cuff, chain two double crochet in the first stitch double crochet in the next stitch and in each stitch around so just a straightforward double crochet around so repeat this pattern I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back towards the end of the round I'm here now towards the end of the round just continue with the pattern double crochet in the next stitch and then one more double crochet in this next stitch here. Then to join the round, again, just slip stitch in the first double crochet that we did right here. So slip stitch to join the round. So this is how to end round two, and this is what round two looks like. Rounds three to eight, just repeat round two. So very simple cuff. Uh, eight rounds of double crochet. This is now what it looks like. This is now my cuff. Feel free to adjust the size for your piece. If you want to increase the length, just add more rows. And do the same step for the other side. And after this, fasten off and we are now done. And this is now what the piece looks like after crocheting around the neck opening and the cuffs. So let me just show you some close-ups here. Here's the cuff on the right side and the other side. So weave the ends, clean up all the tails, and we are done! And this is now what the piece looks like all cleaned up and all done. For the measurements from top here to down to the bottom is about 25 inches. From side to side without the cuff is about uh, 43 inches. And the neck opening is about 10 inches. If you're new to my channel, please check out my other videos. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video and please subscribe.